guys, um, real quick, I forgot to add this in the video. So I just wanted to talk about something that I totally skipped and I should have put in the video. I apologize. Um, when you do this, when you optimize your machine, there are, and people think that you need, like, a lot of people seem to think that you need tons and tons of programs or you need a program that has tons and tons of programs built into it, like Advanced System Care. That is just totally not true, guys. Advanced System Care is a decent program. They do make, they do make decent things but um, the program itself is convoluted it has way too many things inside of it and the thing is it's a techie program it's a really in-depth really 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 confusing program that really anyone else other than techies won't be using but it's weird because on their website it, it's shown off as like a new friendly program so they re so it really sucks because a lot of news probably buy it and they're like oh my god they're totally insanely overwhelming because even for even for me it can be it can look pretty overwhelming when you look at it how many options and stuff there are and to be completely honest in my opinion advanced system care is bloatware it really is it's nothing more than bloatware you don't need any of that crap you don't need all that crap you just need you just need a couple basic programs to do a couple basic things like an uninstaller and a, a, a driver program, an uninstaller and a seat cleaner for like a cleaner and antivirus and that's it guys. You don't need 20 registry editors and a registry defragger and a this and a that and a this and a that and a this and a that and a this and this and that and that and this and this and that. Um, you just don't need all those programs. Most most of like seat if you have seat cleaner and uninstaller and um, an AV uh, and a couple other maybe, um, but really those are just the only ones you need. If you have those three essential programs, you're good to go. You'll be able to do everything you can do with advanced system care, except for a bunch of bloatware crap that doesn't really affect anything. So just to let you guys know, that's what I'm trying to do with these tutorial videos, is show you how to um, do this stuff without uh, bloatware crapware, without bloatware and crapware. Um, involved because you really don't need a thousand programs or something like uh, an advanced system carrier which is just bloatware to begin with um, so that's what I'm trying to do is teach you how to do this stuff without all the crap hey guys what's going on it's right Ralph and today I have another video I'm bringing you this one is a tutorial on how to optimize your Windows OS the last one was on how to clean it so this kind of goes with the other one I mean they're both they're both the, the same, like, I mean, they're not both the same thing, but they're both, like, in the same category. You want to do the first one, which is how to clean it, and then you want to do optimizing, and you kind of want to do those both together and do them together semi-frequently um, to have a completely clean and optimized machine um, to get the best experience out of your hardware. So the first thing I want to do real quick is I want to make a disclaimer, and I want to say that... Um, Anyone who's going to follow along with this probably uh, uh, doesn't have a lot of computer knowledge, which is why I'm making this video to help people out. I just want to make it clear to you guys that there are a lot of different ways of going about this. Mostly the same, but there are a little bit different things you can do and whatnot. I can't cover everything in one video because it would be two hours long. So I'm just going over the straight up optimization, general optimiz optimization. And then you guys are going to have to take it from there. Um, there is things you'll have to learn on your own, of course. I can't, I can't teach you everything in a video, or it would be, it would be, it would be ridiculously long, and no one would sit through it, and no one would even watch it because of length and everything. So it would be pointless. So I'm gonna try to stick as, 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 as close on one, like just, I'm gonna try to just do it as quick as possible, but get, give you all the information you need to do it. And that's just my disclaimer, really quickly. So to get started, um, the first thing I want you guys to do is uh, in Windows 10 um, to get to go to Control Panel. So in Windows 10, you right click on the Windows key, and you go to Control Panel. Okay. Once you're here, I want you to type in uh, up at the top. See the little search bar. Type in Restore, and then under System, I want you to click on Create a Restore Point. Okay. You're gonna get System Properties box. Now down here, it's automatically going to select your main drive, but just make sure that it's selected anyway. Now protection, as you can see, says off, right? Because you can actually um, you, you can actually turn system protection on and by enabling it, it basically you can uh, uh, you can undo undesired changes by reverting your computer bulb. What it does is system protection will um, uh, automatically create system restore points for you at certain times. 
I find that to be I, I like to do it when when I think it's appropriate to make one so we're just going to click on create and you can name it anything you want um, just so you know what it is and you know I would I would do I would name it um, uh, before optimizing so name it before optimizing or whatever you want and then hit create and I'm not going to create one right now but it will create one when that's done it'll take a few seconds I'll give you a few seconds to do that okay so when that's finished um, the next step you're going to do is you're going to you're going to press uh, actually no you're going to press the Windows key and R and you're going to type in MS config all one word MS config hit enter now click on the boot tab just ignore all these other tabs okay click on the boot tab now by default your timeout is going to be three or thirty seconds I want you to delete the time in there all the letters or numbers and put just the number three just three seconds and then basically like this you delete them all type in three hit apply okay uh... then when we hit ok what's going to happen is it's going to say do you want to restart now or restart later or whatever uh, obviously we're going to restart exit without restart so we can do it later that's the only thing you need in there so the next step is to open up your uh, oops open up oops open up your favorite web browser okay and i want you to type in Whoa, I forgot the name of the program. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, quick Startup. Okay. I'm still getting used to making these videos. And for some reason, when I'm making these videos, I, I get kind of like on edge. I mess up a lot. So it takes some getting used to. So you want to go to your favorite web uh, search engine with your web browser and type in Glary Quick Startup. Hit enter, of course. The first link should be Quick Startup by Glary Utilities. You come in here and you just click download now. It'll download it, run through the installer, blah, blah, blah. I'll give you a few seconds and that probably won't be enough, so you'll probably have to pause the video. Okay, so once that's done, you close your browser. I already have it installed, obviously, so we're going to open up Quick Startup. Now, this is what you're going to be presented with. You're going to have a bunch of tabs up top. You're going to click on the first one, which is startup programs. Now, this is going to be the most important. Now, before we get to this point, what I want to do is uh, I want to make another disclaimer that this guide is going to be on how to optimize your machine. It works for whether you have really high-end hardware like I do, or it works whether you uh, are uh, whether you're you don't use your machine much and you don't it's not optimized, but you don't use it much to the point to where there's not much to optimize. It will still make a difference, and it's still something that everybody needs to know if you use a computer whether it's for work enjoyment whatever if you use any kind of a machine whether it's a phone or a computer you should know how to optimize said device it's kind of um, I think it's it comes with the territory it's, it's your responsibility if you're going to get into that you know you see people all the time who want to use computers they want to go on Facebook and they want to play games and they want to do this stuff with this technology but they don't take the time to learn how it works and how to do things with it, how to optimize it. Just basic basic things. I'm not talking about, you know, rocket science here or anything anything crazy. I'm just talking that they refuse to learn the basics and then they complain that it does this and they can't get it to do this and that it's broken and blah 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 and they have to pay someone so much money to fix it and all this other stuff. If if you just if you just took the time to learn the basic things that I'm showing you in these tutorial videos that's all you really need to know sure if you have a hardware failure or something else like that you'll have to take it to a shop you know you're not going to be able to fix it yourself I'm not saying you're going to be a wizard I'm just saying that you'll save yourself tons of tons of issues if you just take the time to learn it like I said I see people on, on, on forums and Facebook all the time complaining but 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 when someone tries to say oh hey let me show you how to fix this 
they don't want to do it because because they don't they don't want to take the time invest the time to figure it out but yet they want to complain about it so that's kind of a pet peeve of mine I think it's a responsibility like I said if you're going to use a device you need to at least have the basics of how to um, clean it up and optimize it and kind of the basis of what's going on and how the basis of it works like the services and, and things like that so that's very important so um, okay the first thing you want to do is we're gonna have you um, we're gonna go in here and now that you're in here I want you to press control all delete okay and then go to your task manager now pull this to the side and what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see all the processes that are in use by the operating system right now and you can see your percentage of your CPU being used memory disk and network you can also see that stuff in here too and you can get to your startup uh, entries here but of course they're disabled here and all here instead because I use this um, so anyway what you're going to notice is that this is all the stuff that's using resources or just running on the computer whether it's using resources at the moment or not most I mean it's going to be using RAM but other than that it may not be um, so if you have a slow computer and your computer is really slow chances are it's because you have a bunch of third-party programs that are running that you've installed but you don't need them running and they're doing things in the background that you don't know of eating up those resources that you could then actually use to do what you're actually doing and get better performance and what you're actually trying to do instead of have those things just uselessly eat up resources so that's what this area is good for so what you're going to want to do is normally it'll look like this you click this once where the CPU percentage is just click it and you'll have a little and you'll see a little arrow pointing down afterwards that's good. What it's going to do is it's going to bring everything that's being used by the C, everything that's using CPU resources to the very top. Okay, so now you can see what's using up most of your resources. Now keep in mind, you either want to keep this open if you have the screen space, or you want to minimize it because when we do address in, in this program over here, you can see the startup programs, most of these are these. So you're going to get rid of most of these by disabling the services in here. Uh, and they're going to basically mirror the services over here so you want to have this open or at least keep it or kind of remember what's using up the most so you go through and whatever's using up like a bunch of uh, your CPU resources for no reason like it's probably third-party stuff that you have installed you could go ahead and um, find it in here and disable it now you don't want to just disable things that are using up resources proactively at the moment like CPU you want to disable everything that you don't need because those things can use up resources at any given time just because they're not now they could two minutes from now five minutes from now hour from now they could start eating up resources so you literally want to disable everything that you need or everything that you don't need anything that is not a necessity you disable it and I mean literally everything this is a necessity here's an example this is my Komodo antivirus that's essential right so that's not disabled but like almost everything is except for that in my startup program okay so you pretty much want that completely everything pretty pretty unless unless you use something that's essential to something you're going to be using every you know all the time when you're on the machine but even then it has to be essential like antivirus or something then you go into your scheduled tasks so you've got all that done then you go into your scheduled task guide and it's the same thing here sorry I was vaping same thing here guys disable everything that is not a necessity now if you don't know some of this stuff I understand that you're not going to know if it's a necessity or not now all your all the programs including the drivers for your system hardware you should know what companies they are and stuff like that if you don't then you need to download a utility like this um, it's made by um, the same people who make CCleaner and it'll tell you all the stuff about your your PC your motherboard and blah 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 and all that stuff so that way you can know who the manufacturer is so you can know that like oh Asus okay well that's linked to my motherboard so that's obviously obviously a necessity but see I don't have it running because this is just the program that does things I only need it to run when I want to get into it so there's no point in having this enabled but for instance, if we go over here, well, where is it actually? Um, 
we go over to here these are Azure services that are running things on the board like my fans um, if I disable these I'm probably gonna blue screen and have a really bad day and 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 so you don't want these these are these are critical services you need running um, like I said anything that's not critical you don't need running and of course you're not going to know everything so um, and this program is really nice when if you probably already noticed by now when you click on something it gives you a short description of what it is and you know who it's by Microsoft Corporation um, that one won't say anything perform you know some do some don't um, so that'll be helpful and, and then you can also remember you can go to Google and you can search those services and get even more detailed information on what they are and what they do and this is something that I was trying to talk about in the, in the beginning of the video the disclaimer this is something that's going to take a lot of messing around with you can't just watch this video and I have your machine optimized 100% unfortunately that's not the way it works because they're everything so personal your machine and what you use and what you don't use and blah 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 is all insanely personal from one person to the next and it completely differs every single person so like when I when I maintenance and um, optimize my friends computers I only do a very basic optimization because I don't know because I don't like there's a bunch of stuff on there and I don't know if they use it or not and sure I could spend 40 minutes to say do you want do you use this what do you use it for and go through the whole every single one of them like that it would take forever so I don't want to disable like say the fax service on my friend and then have my friend get a fax well, I don't know why he would it's a horrible explanation but or, or or whatever but um and then try and hook it up and can't use it because the service is disabled and then obviously he came to me for this so he won't know how to re-enable the service so then it becomes a headache for him and me because then I have to go over there and explain why it was disabled and re-enable it so that's what I'm saying is it's very it's very personal so so um, just keep that in mind guys this is a learning curve this is something you're gonna have to play with and you're not just gonna do once you're gonna do you're gonna optimize it you're gonna come back and optimize it more then you're gonna come back and play around with settings to see if you can't get more optimized and more optimized and more and more and more and more and more and that's basically what I do too with my machines as time goes on but that's how it's done that's how you're going to learn and that's how you're going to remember it um, and that's how it's really going to sink into you and you're going to remember it. But like I said, it's important to know at least this basic stuff and be able to do. This is very basic stuff, guys. This is extremely basic stuff. I mean, it, it may not look like it, but it really is. Um, and everyone should be able to do this stuff. Um, it should not be an issue. So... We're going to go through and, and you're going to just clear out all this stuff and disable most of it except for what you think needs to be running. You're going to play around with it and it's going to take you a long time. And that's why I had you make that restore point in case you can't you can't hurt anything. You can't destroy anything. But you can make, you you can end up, you know, making something act funky or something because you disable something that needs to be running or whatever. So if that happens, you can go back to where I said. I'll show you again. Um, on Windows 10, you right click on the, on the start button. You go to control panel, you go here to the search and control panel, you type in restore. And in this case, you would go to um, you would go to um, create a restore point, but then you would go to system restore instead of create, and then you would go choose a different restore point. Always do that. And then you can and then show more more restore points, and then you can see all your restore points and pick that specific one that you named for this before you did any of this and restore it back. So you'll be good to go. That's just a precaution, uh, but don't let that precaution worry you because doing this, you're not really going. As long as you're, you you don't just go click, 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 click blindly, click everywhere. You're going to be totally fine. So, I just wanted to show that because again, I do like to be detailed with my information, uh, but I'm trying not to be too de too detailed here. So, yeah, just go through and disable everything, guys, that you don't think is essential. Uh, here, this is going to be all Windows stuff. You don't really want to um, touch anything in here for the most part. If you click on something and it doesn't say like this, never says Microsoft, but it is. But if you but if you click on something that obviously isn't Microsoft, like a program that you know that you have installed on your computer that has nothing to do with them, then and you don't want it, then you can disable it. But nine out of ten, it's just going to be Microsoft services. Again, application services are the same thing. You want this to be bare bone as bare bones as possible. 
only essential stuff here guys only essential stuff and then Windows services the same thing only essential stuff now this is gets a little more confusing because this is stuff you don't know anything about because you didn't install any of this so this is all Windows stuff and, and, and now again you can look on this side over here when you select something and it will give you a brief description of what that service does so you'll have a better idea of knowing whether or not you want to disable that or not or you should um, but again you can search Google this is the part that's going to take the longest time though because there are a shit ton of them and a lot of them don't really describe like they don't really give a good description like it doesn't really give you a good feeling of whether you know whether or not you should turn it off or not so Again, this is an area, oh, excuse me, this is an area where you guys are going to have to go through and um, just spend a lot of time in. And again, this is something you'll come back to, the, the window services, more and more, like multiple times, and optimize as time goes on um, to get the best optimization as you can out of your machine. Um, and every time, like, a new Windows comes out, there's always new Windows services, so it's a learning curve even for us techies like myself. I have to relearn everything, even, like, when a new OS comes out. Um, you know, there, most of the services will be the same, but there will be new ones, and I have to kind of play around with them, and, or, or I, mostly, I mostly just go to Google to figure out what they do, but either way, I play around and I figure it out, um, as, you know, as I did with 10 when it came out, because by the time 10 came out, I was just, like, totally golden with 8, you know, it was like 8.1 Pro, and then 10 comes out, and, um, I didn't get it right away. I've only had it for about three months when I built my new machine. I decided, well, I'm building a new machine. I'll just throw it on there. So anyway, guys, um, this is how I have my uh, Windows services uh, uh, optimized. I have them down really good. I have it just about as tight as you can get it, just about as as, as least amount in enabled as possible and still have an OS that functions like it's supposed to. <laughs> so, um, again, it, took some, it, it takes some getting used to and figuring it out, but... Um, just do a lot of Google research and you guys will figure it out. Now, I could go through here. Well, I am going to go through here. I'm going to slowly scroll. And you guys can kind of pause the video and stuff. And, and, uh, and, and you, can, you, can, you can copy this if you want. So it's up to you. I'm just giving a few pauses so that you have time to pause it. Okay. Okay, so that'll give you guys a chance to mirror, aka copy, uh, my Windows services the way I have it set up personally. It's a personal thing, so some of these you guys may find that you don't want disabled because it may disable something that you do use. Um, who knows, but at least you have a chance to cold copy those if you want. The rest is really, this is all personal stuff, so it's all really up to you for the most part, as well as this, but more so this stuff than uh, Windows services. So... That's pretty much how to optimize your services. Now, um, I'm not, right now, uh, I plan to make more videos uh, like this tutorial video. I'll go through a tutorial video soon. My next one will be how to optimize Windows 10. So it'll look into everything specific 10 only, like um, specific settings uh, related only to 10, uh, spy stuff, how to disable the spying stuff in 10, uh, and things like that. That could correlate some somewhat to performance, but they're more so just for 10, and this is more overall. What you just watched could work for 7, 8, and 10, um, and mostly XP2. So um, so that's pretty much that section. Now there's one more part that I want to go through. And in order to do that again, you're going to right-click on the Windows key in 10. You're going to go to your Task Manager. Or no, I'm sorry, not Task Manager, guys. Control Panel. And your System Security system advanced settings 
and performance. And you're going to click on settings under performance under the advanced tab. Now, what you want to do is you want to disable most of this. Now, it may be, again, this is going to be this is all personal, guys, but but you can do what I do and pretty much bare bone it and it'll help give you more uh, performance as well. So just go through and play with this and find out at first uncheck everything except for smooth edge uh, edges of screen fonts you always want that and then click OK and then see what you go from there um, and you can always pause this and just you know play around with it what I have it and add a couple more take away a couple or whatever um, but yeah you want to get this as bare bones as possible uh, for the best performance as well and like I said this this is also these settings also affect really high-end machines I have a six core i7 30 uh, or 5930k um, six core Intel processor um, and 16 gigs of really nice DDR4 memory uh, you know a, a GTX 980 Ti uh, 6 gig version water cool I have all that good stuff and um, even on high end machines this is something you want to do for optimal performance it, it doesn't matter guys whether you're on a slow uh, old machine mid range or high end it does not matter this is all stuff that you guys should know how to do and that you should do on all your operating systems. So that was pretty much the last of it, man. Um, that That's pretty much it for the most part. There are, but yeah, that's it, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I really hope that it has helped you. Um, I hope that it has helped somebody. I'm sure it has. Please let me know. Leave down in the comment section. Let me know. Um, how it has helped you if it did or if it didn't uh, if you liked it or if you disagreed with it or any of that good stuff I'd love to know um, Please subscribe share like rate all that good stuff. It really helps me out. It makes a big difference It really does especially just starting out. I really need that stuff. So I would I would really appreciate it um, And as always, I'll see you in the next one